What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really appreciate that. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. For today's recipe, what I'm going to be teaching you is I'm going to be teaching you how to make all-purpose gravy. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so to make the all-purpose gravy, what I have done is I've taken an ample amount of ghee in here. Yes, I do make my gravy with ghee. Now with that, what I'm going to do is I have uh, a little bit of uh, a cinnamon stick right there. I have a little bit of long, a little bit of uh, black pepper and few uh, seeds of cardamom seeds. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and saute this a little bit and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to it. Alright guys, once our spices become aromatic, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put onions and green chilies in there. Once we add onions and green chili to it, we're going to cook the onions completely so the rawness doesn't stay in the gravy and then we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to it. Alright guys, so once your onions are onions and chilies are 90% cooked, all you're going to do is, is add some uh, uh, garlic paste and then we're going to add uh, some ginger paste as well. Now the reason for adding ample amount of garlic and ginger paste with ample amount of ghee, it's uh, they are going to serve as your preservative. Alright guys, so once our uh, rawness of the ginger garlic paste is gone, what we're going to do is at this point we're going to go ahead and add uh, tomatoes to it. You want to keep in mind that when you add tomatoes, so let's say if you're using uh, if you're using one onion for each onion, um, one medium sized onion, for each onion you want to take two tomatoes. Okay, so once your tomatoes are a little bit smooshy, at that point what we're going to do to cook it faster, we're going to add salt to taste. Now you want to make sure you don't add too much salt because we're going to go ahead and add salt uh, when we're cooking as well. And again, we're making this gravy just to make it as a preservative. Um, at the same time, we're going to add a little bit of water, cover this up, let it cook for a little bit and then we're going to add spices and we're going to be done. Right, guys, so once we let it cook completely, what we're going to do is to get the creaminess, we're going to go ahead and add um, ample amount of cashews in there. Um, now, if you want and if a cashew is hard to find for you, what you can do is you can go ahead and add watermelon seeds to it as well. Now, once the cashews are added, what we're going to add with that is we're going to add some basic spices. So we're going to add ample amount of turmeric powder. With that we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of chili powder. <clears throat> Again, we don't want to add too much chili powder. We don't want to make it spicy or we don't want to have too much color to it just because we don't know and again it's an all-purpose gravy so we don't know what we're going to use the gravy with. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of dhania powder and with that the last ingredient we're going to add is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, jeera powder <clears throat> and once we add the jeera powder we're going to go ahead and mix it up a little bit and let it cook for an additional uh, minute or so and then we're going to go ahead and uh, and uh, uh, let it rest for a few minutes until it gets cool and then we're going to make the gravy out of it. Alright guys, so what I do is, uh, when I'm, before I'm freezing the gravy, what I normally do is, I take a little strainer like this and I strain my gravy before I go ahead and, uh, and freeze it up. The reason for straining the gravy is because, uh, so once in future, if you do want to use it for something like uh, paneer tikka masala or butter paneer or butter chicken, uh, it becomes easier for you to use the gravy and you can literally just use the gravy for anything else. So guys, this is how you want your gravy. Um, so see, it's not too liquid, it's not too thick. Um, this is perfect gravy for you to be able to go ahead and freeze. So this is it guys, it's all done. Alright guys, so the gravy is ready. This is how you want to make the gravy and freeze it. You can freeze it in different size of container and you can put the dates on them too. They are usually good about 30 to 45 days uh, when you put it in the freezer. If you just put it in the normal fridge, it's going to give you at least two weeks or so. So, as you know, the gravy is ready. I'm going to about to go and make some food. I really appreciate all the love you guys give me. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.